Academy Award winner Catherine Zeta-Jones is playing another Oscar-winning actress, Olivia de Havilland, in the hit FX series Feud, Betty and Joan. It focuses on a bitter rivalry between Betty Davis and Joan Crawford back in the 1960s. This Sunday's episode takes place at the 1963 Oscars. Take a look. Mr. Havilland, is it true you flew out from Paris? To present the award for best picture? I will present that award, but I traveled here to be with my dear friend, Betty. I'm here to see her be the first actress to win three Oscars. She's the greatest. <laughs> Which begs the question, do blondes have more fun? Oh, well. How are you? I'm good. I, this seems like a role you'd stand in line to get. Well, it was to work with Ryan Murphy. I, I went to, because I, I live here in the, as you know, live right. here on the East Coast. And when I go down over to, um, to L.A., I kind of humbly ask, mm, do you think so and so so and so would have time to say hi or have a cup of tea? Or So I did that with Ryan Murphy because I'd, I'd watch from afar his work. Um, he works terrifically well with women. Um, so anyway, he, he said, yes, you know, please come. And we had a great uh, meeting. And he said, darling. You have to play Olivia. I went, in what? In Feud. And he told me um, all about the, the new project, and here I am talking to you. What is great is it, it, it's a juicy role about a juicy period in Hollywood. A tough period. Tough, why, why do you say tough as opposed to juicy? Just it was cutthroat? Well, salacious and juicy is something that we still all in the back, you know, kind of secretly love. But in those days, it was um, a very cutthroat kind of business. The studio, the Hollywood system was rough. My father-in-law, Kirk Douglas, I spoke to him about it, and he said it was tough for us guys. But it was really tough for those women um, because they were pitted against each other. And this feud between Betty and Joan was fuel for the gossip columnists. And how, did, how bad did it get? How, I mean, you know, we've seen feuds in present day. How rough did theirs get? This got really rough, and this episode that airs on Sunday, um, you can't write this, man. You know, it's, it's given that it's fueled by, you know, by the by the the the, the, the head of hoppers of the time, but it's genius. But you can't you can't write it. It's it's amazing what goes on. And could you imagine if that feud had played out in today's world of entertainment shows around the clock and social media? What would have happened? No, I, I, I don't. I mean, it's hard. There's so many media outlets these days to fulfill. But um, this, uh, and then uh, actually, Olivia de Havilland had a feud with her sister, who was also uh, an Oscar winner, Joan Fontaine. You know, which was never as salacious and juicy as the Betty and Joan, but still, you know, they were. She was pit. Olivia was pitted against her very own sister. It was interesting. You, you said you you talked to your father-in-law, Kirk Douglas, and he was around during that time and in Hollywood. And he still is around. I know. He's 100 years old. Is yeah. that right? We have a picture, which is so cool. This is of Kirk and Olivia de Havilland. Yeah. I believe we have that picture. We're trying to pull it Somebody's up right having, now. There oh, it is. there it is. I mean, it's yeah. incredible. It was wonderful for me because I, I didn't really know a lot about Olivia before I played her. I had, like many people, that image of her as Melanie and Gone with the Wind. Mm -hmm. But sitting around talking to, to Kirk and Anne, who were there and they really knew these, you know, knew these women. Um, she was, um, well, her name alone kind of, kind of suggests she has a kind of royalty to it. Yeah, a glamour. But she was tough, you know. She was, um, she went up against the Hollywood system. She won two Oscars, removed herself from the rat race of the Hollywood system, and married and, and, and lives and still lives in France. Um, so she is a, she's a, a real fighter. I, I love, we, we were talking in the commercial break and I said, how's raising a couple of teenagers? Because I'm doing the same thing. And your first thing was, I love it. I love it, Matt. I love it. I love it. And I'm still waiting for, um, you know, I, I, was, I was kind of preempted those whole roll your eyes teenage years. I love it. I just love the kind of freshness and the excitement. It's, it's also exciting to me. I was working when I was my son's age. I was in the theater, and I look at him going, 
Wow, I was working when I was your age, but so I'm just enjoying this time, learning a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't um, didn't know. Well, you seem so happy. This is a great role. Will you say hi to Michael for me, I please? I will. He sends his best to you, as always. Please do. We want to tell people that you're going to be back in our fourth hour. And again, Feud airs Sunday night on FX. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.